just uh, what's the vibes, man, heading into week one for the team uh, against Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers? I mean, we're excited. Excited to go out there and just um, all our preparations come to fruition. You know, we're grinding. So just excited to continue to put together the pieces, uh, grind it out, go out there on Sunday and execute. You know, how much uh, you, you had a lot of success running routes out of the backfield in Minnesota. You know, how, how excited are you to bring that to the table for the Raiders? I'm um, extremely excited. You know, we have a, a, an explosive uh, version of an offense that allows the backs to do that. So I'm excited to be in this with uh, Coach Getsy and, and what he's bringing to the table. And, um, you know, all the weapons that we have in offense, it's uh, something to be excited about. So I'm, I'm, part, I'm excited to be a part of that. Is it, a, you know, complementary pieces too on offense in terms yeah. of the weapons? And could you kind of talk about that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you got a bunch of different pieces that, that mend well together, you know, uh, the speed that Trey Tucker has and the versatility that Jacoby has. And then, you you know, the tight end room that we're stacked at that position as well. And then in the backfield, you know, Z, Amir, like there's just a lot of versatility within this offense and this skill position. So I'm excited for us to go out there and just, like I said, execute uh, to the best of our ability and, you know, try and come out with the most important thing and that's win. What have you thought of the quarterback, Matt Gardner, since he's been named starter? What have you thought of his level of play and leadership? Oh, I love him. Uh, that's my dog, man. I call him G-Baby. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's he's a one-of-a-kind uh, leader um, when it comes down to just, you know, his swagger, his personality, and the way that he attacks this thing every day. Um, I'm just excited to have him leading us. Um, and Sunday, it'll be, it'll be a great chance for us to get out there and, and let that chemistry flow on the field. AP put such an emphasis on running the ball uh, against uh, Chargers. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, we want to just make sure that we're running downhill, uh, fast and physical. We want to make sure that we establish that, you know, the, the league, the way that it is, you know, to have a, a dominant run game is, is something that's going to carry you a long way. Um, so we want to make sure that we're coming out the right way and we have that and uh, we have the guys to do it. We just have to make sure we go out and execute it. You weren't part of this team last season, but uh, the Chargers did put a, they stressed that the Raiders gave them an embarrassing loss last season. So can you talk about that? Um, I mean, for me, it's it's a new ri new rivalry for me uh, coming over uh, to this conference, uh, this side, this division. But uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. You know, I've seen the history of it. I know it. Uh, I know about it. Uh, and it's one of those things that, you know, you, you're part of it. You understand it. You get it. You know the teams that you can't you don't want to lose to so I'm excited to uh, go out there and, and have the opportunity to make sure we start things off the right way. And just uh, your thoughts on Zamir man what, what, what kind of potential you think he's got first year starter and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean his potential is uh He's going to go as far as he as he wants. Um, he's, he's one of those guys that you know is physically gifted um, in the sense. So all he has to do is just continue to do the work, um, continue to just push each other in that room, and lean on one another to be the best uh, backfield that we can be, and uh, be the legs of this football team. So I'm excited uh, for him. I'm excited for us as a group. And I'm excited for this team to go out there on Sunday and just try and put the pieces together and execute and come out on the other side. Who, who would you say is the uh, most disruptive player you guys are going against on the Chargers defense? Uh, I mean, they, they got they have a, there's a lot of respect for those guys on that side of the ball that we have to watch out for. Of course, Mac and Bosa off the edge. Uh, those are guys that can be uh, disruptive if you let them. So we, we just can't let them. Um, you know, respect to Derwin. Uh, he's, he's one of those guys that's a game changer as well. So we got to make sure that we eliminate uh, his potential to do that for us and um, you know like I said the one key thing for us is execute and that's you know that's controlling what we can control and make sure that we go out there and, and execute our job do our 111 and uh, we'll see what the better team is. Thanks Alex. Lastly for me who you got next week Canelo or Edgar Belanga? <laughs> I got my, my guy Canelo yeah team Canelo uh, rooting for him I'm gonna be watching got my dog shout out uh, Lawrence Lawrence King he's on the undercard team Canelo so yeah rooting for him. Good to know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up?